What can we expect of divine justice, really? Sometimes human evil is so consuming and catastrophic that, in its aftermath, we can't help but look heavenward. We instinctively appeal to God and his heavenly court for the justice that somehow seems to be missing in this world. The aftermath of the Holocaust comes to mind as such a time. But that wasn't the first time such questions gnawed at us. At the dawn of Jewish history, we were also victimized once with crushing, forced labor accompanied by the looming shadow of genocide. Pharaoh's henchmen were throwing babies in the Nile, even as the oppressors enslaved an entire population. What does justice even look like in the face of that kind of evil? I'm Rabbi Foreman. Join me in exploring that question through a deep dive into the Exodus story, we may well find that the Torah speaks to us about divine justice, but its answers are not what we would expect at all.